Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Studies that support the body game. Now I'm going to tell you what, you know what, some people have gotten back to me and said people doubt the body game. And I'm just like, why? It's, you know what, it, it, it kills me that people would do so. It really does. It really does for one simple reason. If you on social media... Just just a ton of evidence like right there in front of you. Common sense, you should be able to see it. When you if you want IG and any of those fitness guys or guys who uh you know women consider fine, what they get? They get a ton. They get a ton of thirst comments. You know? A ton of it. And you just like, well, that should it's like like I said, common sense wise, you should be able to make something. What they going crazy over? The women talking about the body parts, right? On um, right here on um, YouTube, you got a lot of videos, a lot of videos where you know you got somebody interview, you got people interviewing women in the streets, and they talking about the parts that they like on a man specifically. There's there's a ton of videos. And then if you look at just anybody who's worked in a gym or anybody who goes to a gym regularly, you can see the women like checking out guys with muscles or, you know, looking at their bodies. And in fact, if you even listen to women talk, the first thing they do when they talk about a man, or they, they be like, oh, yeah, you know, Mr. Arms, you know, big chest or tall or something. It's a physicality thing, you know, you know, stocky, whatever. They always checking that out. And shoot, just some common, like once again, common sense. We, uh, you know, we talk about uh, the whole male exotic dancing thing. I mean, Vivica, you had that movie Magic Mike. Why do you think that was popular? They were checking out those dudes' bodies. You, The movie Aquaman. <laughs> they were checking, shoot, women weren't fans like that. They were checking out the body. And, you know, getting back to that male exotic dancer thing, that's a big thing. People can look that shit up online. <laughs> that's a big industry. Look, Vivica Fox did. She actually did a reality show where she was putting together a, a, male, exotic, a male exotic dancing troupe for uh, Vegas. I mean, come on. That was a TV show on uh, six. I think it lasted six seasons on uh, Showtime, Gigolos. You know, these guys weren't there just because they were talking to the women. Shoot, make the correlation. It's right there in front of your eyes. All right? But, you know, you still get some people, they don't want to believe that. But, you know, some, you know, as they say, common sense ain't common. And somebody came back to me and said, oh, they want some scientific stuff. I was like, oh, fine. In the description box, you have actual studies. Studies. That, uh... You know, these are universities. These ain't like somebody just throwing some stuff out or uh, presenting something or an article. These are actual studies where they, you know, they got in the lab and studied it. And, you know, there's three I, I, I have in here. There was a uh, because one thing the reality is for a lot of people, they think this is a duh question. It's like, come on, man, duh, you know. And then just to be clear, this ain't limited to the black community. Please, please, you know, because in a white community, they'll say hunks, you know. Or if you get the mostly white incel community, psh, they get into this more, way more. They be, shoot, they be what, they call, what they call those guys with the uh, bodies and stuff, chads. Because then the guys with the real handsome faces, they actually go to a higher level and call them slayers. But then the next level is actually the chads. And they was like, yo, they got those robust bodies and everything. You know, and shoot, they be breaking out numbers, measurements, everything. I was like, man, that was in a white community, you know. And, I mean, there's just so much there. But, you know, of course, somebody, some people just still can't get that. So I say, okay, let me. I'm, these are studies. I can go, go read them through them yourselves. Because one thing I found with the studies, the studies get down even deeper. Because they say, man, this thing is like biological. This, this is deep. This is primal. Because not only because with if you really look at them, the common theme is women looking at these guys' body, 
because it's a genetic thing. It's a genetic thing. When women checking out, and I've talked about that before, when women like checking out a man's body, that's a primal thing. She want to know who she, she, she's not just looking, it's not just she's merely just turned on or an aesthetic. There's a part of her that want to have a baby. Even if she's had babies, it's just natural. It ain't saying she going to jump that dude's bones or something, but that's going to be the thing. It's natural. It's just like men are naturally attracted to a woman with a small waist and wide hips and nice breasts. They, it's, that, it's that geometry. It's like it just, it just hits something deep. So in these studies, and that was a common theme, they were talking about, and they even hit the money part, but in an interesting way. They, even, they actually hit the money part. So they talked about, so the women want that baby. You know, they, they want to mate. They, you know, that's a, you know, just to get the seed, but then they want somebody to take care of it. Now, in one of the studies, they actually, they were actually talking about how men who look stronger, men who listen to what I'm saying, who look stronger, look like they the type of God and get that money or whatever. And if you, if you break it down to a deeper level, you know, a lot of people have to realize the woman's uh, sexual needs, her primal desires were shaped for millions of years. Uh, the way we use money now is a recent thing. Think about it. It's a recent thing. So what about in indigenous cultures where they didn't use money, but they needed that guy who can go out and hunt and go get the food? The best hunters want some scrawny dudes. You know, those big, strong dudes look like they could hunt and also physically protect. So that and that that hasn't gone away. It would take. It would take a whole lot to make it go away. And considering that there are many people saying that there might be some type of collapse and people even uh, praying for it, it'd go back to like survival of the strongest. It was always there anyway. But that's a primal thing. That's a primal thing. That's hitting a woman on a primal level. So that type of guy and, you know, that type of guy who not only not only has that physical thing, but also that able to get the money, shoot, that turns a woman on. And in fact, there have actually been studies where it said, uh, if you look at CEOs and making money, they say it's the more attractive man that actually makes more money. There's studies w with that. Now, don't make me have to go look those up, too, and put them on here. But it's just, it's just it. There's studies. Like, you know what? Hey, look, some people just want to be in denial. And we know the real reason they're in denial because... Well, they don't have a top type of body. Let's just be real. Let's just keep it a thousand. Fuck the bullshit now. They just don't have it like that. So they they going to they they want to be mad and stuff at me for just bringing it up. Say don't shoot the messenger. And, and plus, you know, let's be real. Men been following that for twenty years, and all they've been doing is succeeding. They've been following what I'm talking about for 20 years and stuff, but, you know, men all over the world know it better. That's why when you go to some of these tourists, but these women be on some sex tourism places, places like Jamaica, Africa, uh, Bali, Turkey, and stuff. The women coming for the bodies. But that's, that's the thing. But for this, check it out. It's like, you know what, you can say whatever. If, if I put it like this, if somebody get mad at what I'm saying and, you know, they feel like they need to make a video about it, well, um, go in the studies and try to refute the studies. Um, that's all I'm saying. Go refute the studies. It's right there. It's right there. Take your time and read them. Take your time and read them. You know, these are, psh, you know. Take your time and read them. Because it's time, uh, honestly, and the reason I'm even bringing it up like that, um, people just got to be real out this joint. There ain't no ifs, ands, and buts. We, we get, people got to be real out of here. We, we can't be on this other thing. So, anyway, that's it for today. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace.